Let me show you what our grandparents and great grandparents did almost 50, 60 years ago. They did this and they enacted some change. We have to finish the job. And so we don't have time. Make sure y'all clear that lane. We gotta make sure we keep this lane clear. We don't have time to have another George Floyd in Fredericksburg. Mm -hmm. We don't have time for Breonna Taylor or Tony McDade in Fredericksburg. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit in their faces and we're gonna let them know that you're gonna see us and you're gonna hear us. And we're not gonna give them anything to push back at us because you are doing your first amendment right. And so technically y'all can stay out here all night as you want to. They put up a barricade. barricade you can sit outside the barricade just leave one lane open because they have emergencies or whatever but we want to make sure that they see you and they hear you now i would stay out here with you all night long but i got a town hall i got to get to the barbershop and do it. but i'm with y'all and i want you to understand that they have to hear us they see you they hear you don't give up yet we still got a lot of work to do I love y'all. I'm 22 years old. I am legally allowed to buy tobacco in all 50 states and alcohol. And die for this country. And I'm legally old enough to die for this country. I'm legally old enough to vote. I'm legally old enough to be who I want to be. And I'm still a child, but we got gassed by police officers. So what am I? Am I an adult or am I a child? They had their hoods pulled up like this was a call of duty. This was a sport for them. Tuesday night they're laughing at us. Tuesday night they were laughing at us. Wednesday night, Wednesday and Tuesday they were arresting us. But Mother on the Bridge is not a sight I will be able to forget because how were we supposed to get off the bridge? What were we supposed to do, jump? When Fredericksburg PD set up behind us and Stafford PD was in front of us gassing us. And then they put it on the reason of a smashed window. You told us you didn't want to hurt us and then you did. Then on top of that, they lied to the public. But if you know, I mean, if you were there, you know, they lied and acted like we were looting. They shot at us before we even touched anything. And we still haven't touched anything. And just like I said down there, half of these people were our resource officers growing up. Now look at them, tear gassing children. Yeah, what about theirs? What about their promise? How come we have more cops in schools than nurses? How come we have more cops in schools than nurses? How come there was more money put aside in a budget for our police officers to have full on riot gear? in a city that has never had a riot, that our hospitals have gloves, have aprons, no, have okay. PPE or masks, but we're, we're, we're so okay. I respect y'all and thank y'all so much for being out here. I'm a black mom to a black son. And when I watch what's going on in the world, it's scary. And, you all are creating a world that I want my son and my nephew to live in. And I thank you all so much. And um, it's nothing but love out here. And you all are so amazing. We already, we only been here for like an hour, hour and a half, and we already met so many amazing people. And my prayer is that God protect each and every one of you. And um, that people get the point. We're not out here rioting. We're not out here losing. Charlie lost her phone. And nobody stole her phone. Got